Good day, everyone, and welcome back to part four, our last part. Look at that rod go off, and you'll notice Lynn rushes to get the rod. I get the crammer, and she gets the rod. That's why she catches so many fish. For all those people who are concerned that she is a better fisherman than me, that's true, but she races to the rod while I get the camera. It's a race to get Leanne out of the way to catch that fish. Now, Leanne has a big bite and you'll see it let go there. I think that's when the fish lets go and then she snags it in the tail. Leanne's calling a barracuda. I a lot. This queen is a monster. No one has fought so hard, Leon's caught it in the tail. There, yeah, so um, it fought really hard. Those Lyra are the ones, again, yeah. place called Pelican Island. Look how big that is. The massive queen is the Leon of the a finger mark, Leon. Reach, Leon. Shush fish. Another finger mark. We get quite a few finger marks on the reef just along there. About two to three metres trolling with um, that um, little you can see it's been melted like all the others from the barracuda. But um, we seem to be having great success in about two to two to three into three to four metres, uh, trolling at about six to seven knots with these um, Alco smaller lures rather than the bigger ones. Queen fish you've ever seen, but for the last I don't know, an hour we've been trolling with nothing. So it's been a cracking day fishing. So far, we've been here about an hour and a half, I guess. And Leanne and I reckon we've caught three finger mark, about seven barracuda, and about five queen fish. All of reasonable size. A couple of really big queenies, great finding fish. The cooters, we're getting a bit sick of the cooters, but they're so much fun to catch. Just got to watch them uh, when you pull them in the boat because they want to take your teeth, their teeth under your feet and take them out. But yes, I said we're having a good time here at Pelican Rock. Um, we'll keep going, keep fishing, and we'll look for the next one. We would really dearly like another big um, finger mark and a trout. We did some more bait fishing up the outside of West Island, that went quite well. Uh, we got a few grasses, lots of sharks there. So if we come around the point, and I'll just show you the point on the map now, you'll see that down there. We just kissed a rock coming through there. So that was, uh, it wasn't the greatest. We're a long way from anywhere, we can't afford that damage. So, uh, I look back at the map, that was a good thing to do. They um, actually really cut into the green there, so we've got to be really careful up here. Just the moment's concentration of loss and it nearly ended in bitter tears for us. That could have been a could have been a long way home from there with no boat. Alright, so we have um, just left the, the golf out here and we are heading towards Davies Creek, but we're gonna take a few in inner ones. The idea when you're navigating into the creeks in the lower tides is to look for the blue line in the water and you'll stay on the creek line, otherwise you'll bank yourself. So we've gone through probably 1.5 through down to 0.6 of a metre.
little bit too rough on the outside so we've come into the creeks man you get lost so easy in this place just creeks creeks branching off everywhere we're trolling through here just to see so Leanne lands onto a barra <coughs> it's got to be 55 I'm not sure I haven't had a good look at it yet Time. Here we go, Liam with her lamb with her barrel. What a beauty! 58 centimeters. It's a keeper. It's going the esky. So we've just come out of a little tributary before we go back into the Davies, and uh, just back there, a little bit of drama. Um, you have to follow the blue line of the old creek, otherwise you get caught on the mud. Well, we thought we were following the blue line, and um, we got caught on the mud. So we had to get out, it was uh, knee deep and push the boat off with the help of another boat to pull. So drama, drama, drama. So young Abby's on how many? 55 centimetre trout. Can you hold him up? Face this way? Cod. Cod. Cod, sorry, cod. And can you put your left hand under his belly and hold him up? <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> it won't hurt you. <laughs> Oh, Orange spot cod, very good. They're good to eat those ones. So, Abby, you can have dinner tonight now. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. We're getting worried. Holy! Oh, yeah. Where's my parrot? Well, we've got a couple more out. That's a great cod. What are your names? I'm Emma, Laura. And what, how many fish did you catch today? I don't know. Too much. So we're in the creek here, aren't we girls? And we're just sitting and relaxing and um, filleting our fish. What did your father do? He threw a fish right next to our boat. And he knew you children were on this boat, didn't he? Mm -hmm. His children. He knew, didn't he? Oh. Chuck's crocodile. Crocodile. So we're coming up to one of the crab pots. Mm. Are you in neutral? Yeah. pulling in the second crab pot. Heavy. Got one. 